I built a clock in the most confusing way possible, which is binary. So it's no secret that a computer counts in ones and zeros, but what does that actually mean? As an example, I use a decimal point system. So this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five. But computers don't have fingers, they use transistors, which means they can only have either an on state or an off state. So in human language, it's pretty simple. You have a one, a two, a three, and a four. But again, we cannot represent these numbers using two possible states. Instead, we use a completely different system that uses different numbers for placeholders. So this is still a one, this is still a two, but now this becomes a four, eight, and so on in powers of two. So if I wanted to write 10 in binary, I would press eight and two, because adding those together equals 10. If I wanted 12, I would press eight and four. If I wanted two, I just press two. Binary is a pretty important principle electronics, but it's not very intuitive when you first look at it. For example, when you see number 12, it's pretty obvious that it's a 12. But if you see a 0010, it's not intuitive of what that means in computing. So in order to get a more intuitive feel of numbers, what I want to do is, is build a clock, which is basically just taking these LEDs and putting it in an enclosure. So what I built here is essentially an LED grid, six by three. The top row represents hours, the middle row represents minutes, and the bottom row represents seconds. I have another PCB that will host a microcontroller, so we have to solder this one here. Now that we have this soldered on, uh, we have to put these pieces together. So what I have here are some conductive brass standoffs and eight M3 screws. Before I do that, I am going to put a cover So now I'm just going to screw everything in place. So now that I've screwed both pieces in place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect it to my USB-C charger. All right, looks good an enclosure for it so my team went ahead and designed uh, this very nice case for me so all i'm gonna have to do is just take this and push it from the top and there you have it this is a clock a binary clock it's a binary clock oh let's plug it in oh B before we plug it in, I got to put software on this boy. I'm just going to connect it to my computer and flash it. So now that the code has been uploaded, uh, we should set the time and change some colors. So in order to change the time or colors, I've built a very small website that you can change it over. So all you have to do is go to binary clock the local and it should up, uh, op open up clock you can see here how it works uh change time and change the colors so i'm gonna set it all to red so now that it's all set up let's try to read the time the top row represents hours the middle one represents minutes and the bottom one represents seconds so because this is a 1, this is a 2, and this is a 4, this is an 8, 16, and 32, as you can see, only do these two LEDs are lit up, which means 1 plus 4, it's 5 o'clock. This is 1, however, it's off. So therefore, you add 2, 4, that's 6, 12, 28. Yes. Wait, is it? Two, four, eight, twelve. It's twenty-eight. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. I built a clock in the most confusing way possible, which is binary.